are you getting ready for the train show this year? Yes, absolutely. It's coming up on the 12th and 13th of March at Saunders Middle School. That's over in Woodbridge, right? Yep, it's on Woodbridge on Spriggs Road uh, between uh, just uh, north of Minneville Road. What time do they run that each day? So the show is open uh, from 10 to 5 uh, to the public uh, each of the two days. Um, the uh, cost of the show is $7 for adults, $3 for seniors and uh, students, and kids under 5 are free. What can you see at the train show? I mean, you're going to see trains, but what do you actually get to see? Well, absolutely. We, uh, we have basically model trains from uh, 10 different clubs. Those 10 clubs have uh, trains of different scales. And today with us, we have some examples of those scales. Sitting on top of this little green guy here is a scale we call the Z scale. It's not the smallest scale out there, but it's pretty darn close. Um, then moving down to the table, we have a scale called the N scale. Uh, that's for uh, clubs and people that want to do uh, things in a smaller space, but still have some fun with some of the, the scenery. Moving back, uh, this steamer is actually the most common scale. We call it the HO scale. Uh, we, three of our clubs have, uh, have setups that are, are, are HO scale. And then the green guy here, this trolley, is actually an example of an O scale. And then finally, the big red guy in the back is something uh, we call a G-scale. And one of our clubs actually has an operating steam-powered G-scale engine that you can come and see. So you actually get to see the steam coming out of it and everything? Absolutely. Oh, just, that would be Just fun. like the real thing, you see the steam coming out and, and it's chugging around uh, just like the old days. That would be really cool to see. Yep. So in addition to the fact that you see different scales, mm -hmm. basically these clubs will bring modules. And what a module is is a small section of track anywhere from maybe two feet to four, five, or six feet. Today what we have an example of are two modules that were originally built by scouts in the very first show 18 years ago, so back in 1998. Um, and these, this module setup, basically we have uh, on the far side, we have an example of a, a Boy Scout troop that is uh, marching in the woods, something of course Scouts love to do. Um, then moving over, we have uh, one of the original buildings that was built for the module. It represents a power station. And in the entire module set, that power station uh, is fed coal from a coal mine that's on another module. And so you can actually uh, pretend that you're operating a railroad bringing coal from one place and delivering it to the, the power station. Um, and then we have a couple other original buildings that were, were built uh, back 18 years ago. And then on the tracks themselves are some very special train engines and cars. Up front, what we have are two uh, engines, uh, kind of a late uh, or early diesel air engines. But on the side, they're uh, painted with Power Creek and Dominion. And that's basically the railroad we created for the troop and, and for, uh, for the Boy Scouts uh, in our troop. And it's pulling a series of boxcars. And what those boxcars represent are uh, custom cars that were made for every one of our shows. So we basically have 17 of those cars, and we'll have an 18th one. Uh, for this year with the, a, its own specific design. Um, so it's an example of uh, a, a couple modules that you see now uh, in the HO scale. I, I mentioned this is HO. I mentioned that we have three clubs. We'll actually have over 100 of these type modules in the big gymnasium. That's kind of the, the centerpiece of the show. But then, like I said, all the other clubs and, uh, will bring the O scale and, and the G scale, N scale. Um, and oh, by the way, we don't want to forget the Lego club. Oh, yeah. But you know, I still love club? that one because it just set up the whole track and everything is out of Lego and all the tall buildings. Yep, so to the engines themselves, to the track, to all the buildings. So we'll also uh, be, uh, have a, a Lego club as well. So it's, it's a great example of, of, of uh, modeling the hobby that's out there. And I know that at the show, at least several years ago when I was there, they had a kid's corner for the little ones. Yep. So uh, for the little guys, we'll have uh, uh, like coloring sheets and, and videos running and, and basically things to keep their attention as well. Um, we're, we're planning to have like a little wooden uh, train set up where they can push around, you know, Thomas the train engine and, and, uh, and have fun at, at their age as well. Yep. So it's really fun for the whole family then. Yep. Um, we also, uh, in the past, and we're planning to do again this year, uh, for those that are in the hobby, uh, several of the members of the club, uh, of different clubs, put on clinics. 
Uh, and in those clinics, you can learn how to, for example, uh, you can't really see here, but some of the, the modules have uh, rock faces. So we have one gentleman who, who likes to demonstrate how to build rocks. We have clinics that will, uh, how to build buildings. Buildings sometimes can be a kit, but other times they're what we call scratch build or custom built, where you actually take the pieces and put it together. And, and then other clinics that talk about scenery and the electronics and the wiring. So we haven't set that schedule yet, but if you're interested in the hobby itself, um, you can actually come and, and, and learn how to, to do different things uh, with the hobby. Yeah, from all these different clubs that come in yep. to help us out with the train show. Yep. Another wonderful aspect about the, the event is, as you know, Boy Scouts have lots of different merit badges. And so uh, we can take up to 160 kids, 80 kids each day, and those boys go through a series of classes to learn about the hobby. These cars here actually represent cars at one of the sessions that they actually built. So we have scouts that teach them how to assemble uh, a car, and then at the end of the day, they get to bring it out to one of the HO layouts and, and actually see it in, uh, running. Um, and then they also go through uh, learning about industries. They learn about uh, different aspects about uh, the actual railroad uh, business. Uh, one session, they learn about uh, what we call timetables. Uh, if you've ever traveled on a passenger train like Amtrak or VRE, and how to listen or look and, and learn to, to set a schedule. Um, and then maybe one of the most important things is something we call Operation Lifesaver, is learning how to be safe uh, around railroads, from the markings to uh, how trains run and, and, and really just to be to safe all around. So uh, usually we fill those classes up, and we have 160 boys, um, to include any Weeblo that is bridging from their Cub Scout track uh, pack right now. As long as they've bridged and, and they have registered uh, as, as a Boy Scout, they can come and earn their very first merit badge with uh, the Railroad Merit Badge. And I think I heard you say that you have scouts teaching these classes to the other scouts. Absolutely. In fact, my son joined the troop, uh, I guess, two years ago and went through the Merit Badge program. He immediately jumped in and I believe learned from your son, in fact, <laughs> uh, how to teach. And his specialty is actually teaching uh, the kids how to, to build the model railroad cars. But other boys uh, will teach about the industry and, and will uh, give them a tour of, of the different scales and, and the club. So, yeah, it's actually boy-led uh, merit badge teaching, which is really phenomenal. It's awesome to get the boys involved with that. Yeah, it would be. <clears throat> so you're going to be there all day long. Okay, I don't know about your kids, but mine have to eat. Is there going to be food there? Absolutely. We're going to have food and refreshments uh, all day long. You can come and, and get a bite for breakfast in the morning, and then we'll have things uh, for uh, available for uh, sale throughout the day uh, for lunch, and, and hopefully you'll stay for dinner and, and have fun. Because, um, as, as you know, uh, this is basically our troop's main fundraiser uh, of the year. Um, and so, in addition to uh, the food that's going to be available, there's going to be some auctions uh, of different things that, uh, uh, that the people can take home with them. Uh, we have um, the cars that, that we offer. We offer them for sale as well. We have the, the patch for every year uh, is offered for sale. So, um, it is, it's a wonderful uh, boy-involved, uh, volunteer-parent-involved event, but it is, is our primary fundraiser uh, for the year. And, and uh, again, as you know, we use those funds to support summer camps, uh, to uh, support camperies, and to support the activities of the troop. And, and the boys really do appreciate uh, all, everything we can do with that money. Yeah, and I know they're working the train show, too. I've seen the boys wandering through the rooms with the little push cart with the food and things like that. So it's not just play party for the, the scouts of the troop. Yep, absolutely. So. So, so bottom line, Michelle, I hope you're going to come out and, and, and to the show again. Uh, I know you've supported in the past, uh, and, and we invite everyone uh, to come on out. It's going to be the 12th and 13th of March. Again, that's Saunders Middle School on Spriggs Road in, in Woodbridge. We'll be there from 10 to 5 on both days. It's a wonderful time, a great thing to support uh, our, our troop um, and to, to learn uh, about the awesome uh, industry and hobby of model railroading.